right, Jeff here again. Today I'm going to show you all how to properly clean an overheating laptop. In this case, I'm using a Dell XPS M1210, which um, is a very powerful little laptop, but because of its small size, its heating efficiency and cooling efficiency is just not that great. Um, the heat pipe and the air intake and air output it is pretty weak if it's just sitting down on a flat surface. So what I have right here are two of the products that you will need. First is Clean Safe Dust Remover. You can use any compressed air, but I get this from Walmart, and you can probably get it at any department store too. And the next thing is the nice and clean anti-static cleaning wipes, which are real good because you know you don't have to worry about you know shocking your computer and frying all the components inside. So now that we have that in order, let's get to disassembling the laptop. Now, most laptops have a common feature, a common way to take the keyboard out, which is what we're going to need to do. Usually on your right-hand side, at least with this laptop and most of the Inspirons, there's a little notch right here. Now, you use a little um, screwdriver or maybe a pin or a pencil, probably a pin or a screwdriver, though, and you, you just wedge it under here and you lift up. Now, make sure that the laptop screen is in a vertical position pushed all the way down at 180 degrees and uh, so you can lift you can lift this little cover off right here and once you get that off the keyboard comes out okay so this is what we're going to do Might give you a little bit of trouble. Okay, once you have this little piece removed, now remember this is pretty much universal for any laptop. This is how you're going to get the keyboard out. Um, I'm not saying it's going to be exactly like this, but as I wedged with the uh, screwdriver right here, it was easily removed. Okay, now you can set that aside. Um, also, it would be a good idea now that you're kind of removing some of these components. You know, if you're pretty particular about cleaning them, you can use those anti-static clean wipes right now um, and kind of, you know, smooth them off. You probably have some gunk stuck in the keyboard, you know, if you like to play games and stuff and you like eating a bag of potato chips and you got grease all over your fingers. You know how it is. Touch pad gets all nasty. Well, it's a good time to clean it, you know, and get things organized. At least I like to. I'm a meticulous son of a bitch. But anyway, um, okay. Now it's time to get your screwdriver. Okay. Um preferably one that has a magnetic tip to it to where you can get this, those small screws out because they're really tiny. In this case, this is my keyboard screw, so I'm going to go ahead and let me put it on the right setting. You know, just unscrew it. Make sure you have a place to set your screws aside at too because you can lose these so easily. They fall everywhere and it's no more trouble than they're worth. But they're pretty much necessary. All right, it's the last of the screws. All right, now you're ready to get the keyboard out. All you really have to do is kind of get the wedge point. Find it exactly. All right, I just got the keyboard out. Here's your internals. Okay, that's your RAM, and uh, here's your um, you know your little on and off button, your media button, and uh, you know there, there's your wire for your uh, monitor. You don't have to worry about any of that, but what you do need to worry about is right here. See this little fan, and there's your there's your heat pipe. Now somewhere in there, your video card is also being cooled, but we're not going to worry about that because. I think they pretty much share the air intake and the uh, airflow between the CPU and the GPU. So um, uh, I don't know if you can see it right here, but there's some 
quite a bit of dust buildup right here, so that's definitely, you know, calling to some cleanup. I don't know why they put a little sticky cell pad right there. It just kind of makes all the dust stick right there. It's pretty bad engineering. Anyway, um, okay. So you have your can of compressed air now. All right. Use the little uh, hose that comes with it. You know, it gets, it directs the air proper places. You know, you don't want to blast air everywhere and just make all the dust go everywhere. You can kind of, you know, wedge it with it and wedge the dust out and kind of go in the direction you want to. We're going to start by kind of cleaning off right here because there's some dust build up right here. Comes right off. Very easy. All right, now for the pan. Try not to hit the fan directly and make it spin too fast. You know, the bearings are only supposed to go to a certain speed. So kind of just do short bursts, if I'm sure. Make sure let's see if we can get a good light. Make sure you get the air vents too. Spray into there. You're gonna see the dust fly out of the top right here. Um, in this case, I just did that, and I have a big clump of dust right there. Yeah, so I got to get that out. So put the camera down for just a second. Bunny. All right, once you get all the, you know, dust particles out and the in my case a big clob of dust, it's a good example right there of why you should keep your laptop clean. It sufficiently lowers the temperatures. Um, in Dale's case, I mean, a lot, a lot of people use the program Speed Fan. Um, I find that 18K Fan GUI is better for the Dale laptops because they were engineered for the Dale laptops, mainly the Inspirons, but they still apply to the XPSs. Um, I've been using 18K Fan GUI since I had my Inspiron 5150, which if anyone has ever had one, they know that that motherboard is prone to overheating and is prone to blue screen to deaths. And uh, whenever I learned to use that program correctly and set the settings right and keep the dust out, I got my laptop running cool almost all the time now. So it's definitely a good program to use if you have a Dell laptop. Um, you know, just make sure you get this air vent right here. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's right there. Get that air vent on the side. And, you know, like I, like I showed you before, you know, make sure you take the keyboard out and get a good dusting and every, uh, everywhere. Um, Compressed air and uh, anti-static cleaning wipes. It'd be a good time now to kind of clean some of your components. Not, you know, don't touch any electrical components with the anti-static because uh, it does contain alcohol and uh, you know other chemicals that could, you know, if you have your battery in or anything, it, it could just cause a problem. So just, you know, just aesthetically pleasing, as I'd like to say, clean the outer rim. You know, the other side. Yeah, go LSU. Um, so yeah, that's what you got to do. All right. Well, uh, this. Is, Another how-to by Jeff. I usually do the Xbox 360 stuff, but I decided to, uh, you know, post this, help out a wider audience. Any questions, feel free to email me. All right, Jeff out.